Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Hobbyist. Today, I have a very different video for you all. So, um, I was thinking, I was in the shower and I was just thinking about my first uh, diamond painting kits um, that I opened and the feelings that I felt when I was opening those, the VZWarts canvases. And I remember how special and how, how happy and excited I was for one kit. And I think part of that was that VZWarts is pretty expensive. Um, and it just, it felt like I was treating myself. And I was. Um, and now that I have a big stash, I felt that I sort of lost that. So I'm going to be just trying to appreciate what I have in front of me. Um, and hopefully that'll help. Um, you know, I have a bit of a problem, as m many people do, of I see a painting and I really want it, and so I buy it. Um, and I'm hoping that this will quell that a little bit, and uh, hopefully I can just sort of stop that because I don't like spending that much money um, as I'm trying to save a little bit. Um, now, I'm lucky enough to still be living, up, living with my parents. Um, I legally cannot buy a home uh, at my age, so um, I have more budget, I guess, to buy down paintings, so... Um, but a lot of these are things that I got for my birthday, so thank you to my parents for all of these beautiful canvases. Um, but without further ado, let's get into all my canvases. So this is a year's worth, no, this is, what is this, eight months of stash? This is August, so eight months of stash. Um, there's more coming too, so uh, let's just start from the top. We have... An Etsy painting. I'm not going to link most of these. I don't know if I'm going to link any of them, actually. This is um, Little Eiffel Tower. Let me peel this back for you all. Um, now, also, I'm going to make sure that this is all... That all the canvases are still doing all right. Um, I don't see any damage. This is the full canvas. It's a 20 by 20. Sorry, I didn't say that. I think it might be actually smaller than that. Oh, wait, I have... Okay. I, ha I had a tape measure that I was going to bring out for this video, but I forgot to, so... The glue size... Sorry, um, the, the drill area is about 20... 20 and a half by 20 and a half. Um, I think that's the full canvas size, is 25 by 20... Or, oh no, it is 20 by 20, never mind. Um, yes, yeah, so it is true, 20 by 20. Um, so that's that one. Uh, that's actually a canvas that I'm thinking about working on, although it is very confetti heavy. Uh, and you see me go over here, that's because I'm putting all the paintings on my bed so I can get them out of the way. Then this next one is the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, I don't know why my mom got me this one, honestly. Um, but I do like the Golden Gate Bridge. It's a cool landmark. So, this one is confetti heavy again. I'm slowly getting more accustomed to confetti. And this won't be bad because some of the symbols... Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I don't know if you've been in focus this whole time. Um, I'm... Okay, so there's some rivers in the glue. I don't know if you guys can... Yeah, you see those little... Those are rivers in the glue. But that's fine. I think that's probably my fault. Um, I'll have to check on the video to see if... Um, if those, sorry, <laughs> I'll have to check on that video to see if those rivers were my fault or if it was was the company's fault. But actually, let me check the back. I don't know, the back seems fine. Um, but that's that one. Um, a lot of confetti again. And I'm sorry if some of this is out of focus, you guys. My phone, which I'm filming on my phone, um, doesn't seem to know how to focus too well. And I'm also sorry about the lightning. Let me see if I, I don't know, that doesn't help very much. Um. So this is a 25 by 25. This is Totoro. I love Totoro so much. You can't really see. Um, I'll try to pick pictures up if I can. But, um, don't... <laughs> if, I, if I don't, then uh, I'm sorry. I'm just lazy. So this is Totoro. Um, if I can find the prices, I will put them up. But I, I think there's going to be a lot of editing. And actually, okay, I haven't talked about these symbols. Um, the Etsy diamond painting video wasn't very good, uh, detail-wise. Um, it's very blurry. Sorry about my light, you guys. Um, there's some little rivers in the, in the glue. 
Um, I like the symbols. They're all very different. They're all very different. Um, I don't know how many colors are in this. So, um, I can't tell you that. But, that's Totoro. Um, I really like this. these canvases now that um, I'm looking at them again. When I unboxed these, I was very negative. Um, but, I didn't look close enough. And back, back when I actually, I, I did that a lot. I, so, let me explain something. I, I upload weekly now. Um... I, it's very new to me right now, but you guys are probably seeing this way in the future. But, um, because I upload weekly now, um, all of my video, a lot of my videos are pre-filmed. And the Etsy one was, like, in late April, I think. That was right after I, I got the paintings. Um, because I tried, I tried doing all the videos at one time, all the, um, birthday gifts at one time. And that didn't work, so I refilmed them in April. So that was a long time ago, and I was still pretty new. So uh, moving on, this is a one of. The, so I didn't actually unbox this. So for a lot of these, like there's there's a lot of trees. Um, I didn't unbox these on uh, on camera because there were just so many of them. Just want to let you guys know that when I put up on the screen, um, either six pack or twelve pack. I'm talking about the Amazon multi-pack that I got the paintings from. Um, these are for the moon tree sort of uh, paintings. Um, you'll 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 see it when I uh, when when we get there. But for some of the paintings, I'm gonna put up if it's either a twelve pack or a six pack, so that um, you guys know which pack I got it from. And I will put up a picture too. I came in the one pack, and I didn't want to. And I tried filming the video twice. I mean, it was pretty boring. So. 30 by 30 centimeters, 21 colors. I really like this image. I think this would be good for Halloween or for fall because I'm getting fall colors from this. Um, it's a little pear, it's little pear blossoms or cherry blossoms. It's red, so I don't know. Pear blossoms are white. Um, and a moon. I really like this uh, style of image. I don't know if these are legally licensed, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I personally, it's not a big priority of mine for legally licensed images. Because usually those are a lot more expensive and a lot harder to find. Um, so, uh, if you do care about that, then um, there are videos out there on how to check if them paintings are legally licensed. So, then this one is from the same pack, 14 colors. Um, it's very dark on camera, especially. Um, let me see. Can I get this? Wait, let me turn the flash on you guys. There we go. All right. So, um, I don't know if this is poured glue, actually. I don't think it is. But this is the image. There's a little person here. Blue moon. This is one of my favorites. I'm going to say that for a lot of these. But this one just is so aesthetically pleasing. Um, 30 by 30, as I said. Um, this was from the same pack as the other ones. Um, this is... Okay, this is probably the one that I'm... That, okay, I like this. I secretly love this one a lot. But I don't know if I'm going to do it. <laughs> I know, it's confusing. I, I don't know what I'm thinking about this one. But it's actually the image. Okay, so the image itself. Sorry. Uh, you're going to see the flash. The image itself is really nice. Um, I don't know how the graphing is going to work. This has 30 colors. I think that um, the, the, the company that this comes from only goes up to 30 colors. Because I think they could have added a couple colors up here. So... Um, 30 by 30, 20, 30 colors. Um, this is a really nice kit. I am thinking about doing this one. I'm seriously thinking about doing this one. But, um, like, I'm not sure about a lot of these. Because they all come from kits, or from, uh, multi-packs. And, I don't know, multi-packs are, they're, they're a whole thing. I, some of the images I don't like to do. Um, but then this one, oh, I love this one so much. Um, some pear blossoms. It's, I love the color scheme. Some pear blossoms um, sort of reaching up to the sun. Um, I like that a lot. <laughs> um, 22 colors, 30 by 30 from the 12 pack that I did not review. Um, there's a uh, No, this might be from the 4 pack. There was a 12 pack and a 4 pack. So um, that that's, a really, uh, that's one that I am going to be framing 100%. I don't know why I'm going to get to it, but I don't know. This is a really good one for my sister. Um, there's a lot of color blocking in this one, not a lot of confetti, which I like. 
Uh, I hate confetti and love color blocking for all of you guys who don't know. I don't think a lot of you know because <laughs> I haven't done any whip and chats yet, but I have some in the works that I will be doing. Uh, that's a side note. Um, now, okay, I, I don't know if this is from the 12-pack or the 4-pack. I think this might be the 4-pack because they have DMC numbers. Um, and really pretty blues, uh, a lot of turquoise, a lot of pink, and a lot of purple. Um, and some white and black in there. Uh, let me see. This is 310. No, 310. And we have B5200. This is actually the first B5200 I've had, I think. Oh my gosh, guys. I just remembered something. So, I did a review. I don't know if I posted it, because I don't remember. Um, but there was B5200. And I was like, why is there a B in front of it? And, um, yeah. That was the whole thing that I wasn't too sure about. Uh, but now I know. Um, so this one, I don't, okay, I don't like this one that much. I like, I like the image as an image, but not as a diamond painting. 30 by 30 is not big enough to do this. Oh, I didn't show you guys the last image. Uh, sorry about that. But this is 22 colors, 30 by 30. Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry, you guys, <laughs> you're not in focus. Um, and so there's 22 colors, 30 by 30, um, it's sun with a reflection and mountains on the sun. Or, no, are those mountains? Those are just clouds. Um, and a tree. Um, uh, the theme with the 12-pack and the 4-pack is just trees, suns, and moons. This is very. This is a very similar image. Wow. Um, very, very similar. 23 colors. Okay, this is from the 12-pack. The ones with DMC are from the 4-pack. I'm 99% sure that that's what it is. Um, I'll put in the video if that's true, but... Um, I have a lot of editing to do, <laughs> a lot of editing work. Um, this is confetti heavy, confetti heavy, confetti heavy. Um, oh, all of the ones I've shown you so far are rounds. I have not said if they're round or square, um, but I'll tell you when they're square, and you can infer that they're round if they are round, or if I don't say anything. So, um, 23 colors, 30 by 30. Eh, this image, like the other one, is pretty meh. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I just can't stand all the confetti. Um, okay, now this might be the exception to the confetti thing. 22 colors, 30 by 30, round. Monarch butterflies with, um, oops, sorry. With some cherry blossoms and the sun. This one, I'm in love with this one. Uh, I, I don't know what it is about this. I think the color scheme, I like blues and greens a lot. Um, and just the pops of orange are really nice, too, with the pink. It's just sort of every- all the colors, <laughs> but, I don't know. I just love this one a lot. Uh, there's a lot of confetti, which I'm not excited for, but I think it'll be fine. So then, we have up next- is it in focus? Yes, it is. Um, we have this. You can probably tell what the image is from this far away. You guys are really far up, by the way. <laughs> um... So, we have 23 colors, 30 by 30. I don't know what that is. I think that might be a tree. I can't even tell from the image. But it's a really majestic sky. Sorry. Really majestic sky. Um, there's a lot of confetti in the clouds and a lot of... Oh, that's a lot of color blocking right there. Um, and then color blocking, color blocking. It's a good mix, actually. Uh, oh, sorry. I think this is going to be a good mix of confetti and color blocking. I don't like the image that much, though. So, that's unfortunate. But our next one is one that I am excited for because the sparklers would look so good in this, I think. Um, there are some little stars and things in this one. I think this might be the moon and a tree. Ha ha we've heard that one before. Um, and this is actually a nice Halloween image. Um, and the next one's a really nice Halloween image. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, you guys. Uh, 21 colors, 30 by 30. This sort of reminds me of, like, a gate, almost. You know how some gates look like they have branches? Or they're, you know, they, they look like branches, almost. Um, that's kind of what this reminds me of. Not a lot of confetti, which is nice. Um, I could probably, so, for all of the 30 by 30s, I could do them in six hours. I think that's how I uh, sort of work. I can do it in two days uh, if I really am dedicated. If I'm really dedicated, I can do it in a day, okay? But two days is normally, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> but two days is normally how long it takes me to do one, uh, or, I, I usually take a week to do these, 
because I like to spread it out and I have a lot of stuff going on. I'm just gonna interject again here. Um, so I just noticed something. Um, I'm editing this August. What is today? August 18th. Um, and so, a quick, a quick side note: the 12 pack was supposed to come with a different image. So the next one you're about to see is an image that was not included in either the six pack or the 12 pack. But I just noticed that the 12 pack has an image in it, like in the thumbnail, that I don't have. So, I think that they might have switched out the one of the images in the 12-pack for this one. So, I'll, I'll put up pictures just so you guys can see. Um, but, next image, 22 colors, uh, 30 by 30. I was thinking about doing this for Drills and Chills, but I think I missed it already. Um, but that's fine. Um, I'm still going to be doing this soon for Halloween. I really like this image, actually. Um, l there's a lot of color blocking in some places and a lot of confetti in others. Let, let me get you guys up close and personal. Ooh, it's, it looks glittery right there. Up close and personal. So there's all the color blocking and then all the confettis over here. But I like that, um, I like the clarity. And the clarity is really good on these, by the way. I don't think I've said that yet. Um, this is one, this next painting. When I, okay, so I was going through all of my diamond paintings um, yesterday, I think. I was reorganizing my whole under-the-bed storage that I keep all my paintings in. And this was... These... Okay, all of these were wrapped up for... Oh, God. Half a year. I think. Six months. All of the... Um, like, all of these sorts of paintings with the sun and the moon. Um, they were wrapped up for a while. So, uh, I was unwrapping all of them. And this one stood out to me. Um, this has, okay, let me, let me take, so this is basically just a really dramatic moon. As you can see. Um, let's get up close and personal with the drill area. A lot of color blocking with a little bit of confetti in there. That's what I like. Um, so that one's really nice. Okay, I'm leaning towards doing that one soon because, um, of all the gray. I've been doing a lot of color recently. Um, well, actually, that's a lie. I've been doing a lot of black and white recently, but I really like it, so, um, I'm gonna continue with a black and white, possibly, but I have a lot of whips, too, and I'm gonna, um, finish the whips, so. This is my least favorite image, or second least favorite image. This is from the 12-pack or the 4-pack. Again, I don't know. Um, 16 colors, 30 by 30, which is, Pretty, that's not a lot of colors, but I think it's going to turn out better without a lot of colors. Um, it's just tulips, a little swirly thing. I find tulips sort of childish, I don't know why, but, and, and like, I don't know. They're, they're too kid-y for me. But it's a, it's an, it's an okay image. I will be doing the, all of these eventually, I hope. Um, I'm not too sure, because, you know, you can't really expect to do all of these. Um, okay, this is... This next one is a painting that I'm not very happy with, and I don't know if I'm going to do. So, oh god, I'm so sorry. My camera's not focusing. There we go. So, from Homokia, this is part of the four-pack. Actually, I think I have all three of them right here. Or, I have three of them, and I'll put up the picture of the fourth completed. I will be doing a post review on that soon. Um, but there was a sunflower, this vase um, of tulips, this vase of just assorted, like... I don't know, begonias, maybe? Daisies? I don't know. Um, and lavender. Um, all of- Okay, so these are all 30 by 30. Or I think they're actually 25 by 25. Let me check. I'm doing this wrong. Um, yeah, they're 20, uh, they're 24 by 24. They said they were 30 by 30. I'm, I'm not too bothered. They weren't pretty- They weren't that expensive. Um, 25 colors, 23 colors, 23 colors for the tulips, and the vase is 23. Um, I enjoyed working on the sunflower to a degree. <laughs> um, I didn't like the graphing, and that sort of took away from it. Uh, and you couldn't, and the, it's round, so you can't really change too many things. Um, but yeah, those are those three. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, you guys. Um, but I will, I will do them, just to, just to do them. I feel like that's, um, something I, I do a lot. I do it just to do it. 
Um, okay, this is again from the 12 slash 4 pack. I'm not sure. This is probably from the 4 pack. Um, we have 22 colors, 30 by 30. This is my least favorite image, I think. Um, this is pastel rainbow swirl thing um, with some grass, but the grass is not coming out too well. It's very choppy. Um, again, with the drill field, it looks nice. It's nice and glittery, too. Um, I was trying to give this one to my sister, but she doesn't like diamond painting. Uh, she's tried it a couple times, but she just doesn't like it. That's okay, though. Uh, I don't expect everyone to love it. Because I know that it's a very particular thing. Um, so this next one, I actually really like. Um, moon, it's a moon with, like, just a couple of stars. I'm going to use my sparklers on these stars, um, and maybe on the moon a little. And... 24 colors that are by 30. There's some trees, a little water line. This sort of reminds me of when I went to Africa. Um, my grandma took my family to Africa, and it was a really nice trip. It was a really nice trip. Um, so we have a couple stars in there. Um, but I don't know. I like this one, but I don't I don't know how well the graphing is going to turn out. Because, um, oh, I'm sorry. You guys can't see that. Uh, I'm not going to... I don't know how well it'll turn out because... Of the reflection, I it, I mean, I, obviously with, with all of these you could, they could have gone a little bit bigger, but I don't really care that much. Okay, this is the one that I I don't know. It's oddly interesting. This image, um, this is a moon, a blue moon, with a red outline. Let me, you can't really see it, with a red outline. The sky is red, and there's just black everywhere. Um, sorry, you guys can't see that. This is another Halloween image, I think. Um, I, w I unwrapped this one, and I every time I've seen this one, I was like, yeesh. Like, I just, it's shocking. Like, the image itself is just shocking. But I digress. Um, I'm not going to do this one. I, I tell myself that I'm not going to do this one, even though I know I will. Um... And then we have, oh, okay, this one, a lot of color blocking, but the shading. I don't like when they do checkerboard shading. Um, I've said this a couple times on the channel before. When I unbox the um, flower four pack, you see how those B's and C's right next to each other? I don't like that. It's going to look super blocky. But that's that image. Oh, it looks good blurry. <laughs> Most diamond paintings do. Um... It's just a little sun, or a little moon, blood moon, 30 by 30, and 21 colors. Uh, next up is, sorry, I cannot see it because I'm putting something away. Oh, this is a hula can, I think. Why is the hula can paper weird? Okay. Um, this is Life is Sweet. I did not unbox the last shipment of hula cans I got. You're going to see all three of them today. Life is Sweet. Um, let me peel back the cover for you guys. Now, I don't... So this is 20 by 25, they say. Oh, I'm seeing some problems with the adhesive. But, um, you're not going to be able to make out the is. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Ugh, I'm not very good at this. Um, you can see all the popsicles pretty well. But you can't see the is right there. I think you could probably just assume that it says is. Um, but it says life is sweet. Uh, I don't know what to say. Okay, so I've been working on a hui cam. You're about to see it um, with my whip. So keep watching for that. Um, but uh, I was... So I got three chalkboard type paintings. And this is one of them. Um, and when I unboxed it, I was like, that's not going to look good at all. But it turns out that they... Uh, that the, it actually looks really good from afar. From from afar, it looks super detailed. But when you go up close, there's like reds and blues and greens. It's really weird. Um, so I'm I'm you know I'm a little interested to see how this turns out. This is definitely going to be one that's at the top of my list. I like who I can, you guys. Shockingly enough, um, after my last unboxing, which I did not document, I thought it was really nice. But that's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. Uh, that, did I say there's 30 colors in that? 30 colors in that. So, this is my 
much talked about Amazon Galaxy painting. Um, I talk about it a lot because I have plans for it, and I'm really excited to work on it because there's color blocking and a little bit of confetti in there, just the way I like it. Okay, sorry, Life is Sweet is square, I believe. Um, I, I don't know about this one, I think it's square. Let me see about the drills. Okay, so I can't find the, um, I can't find the drills right now, it'll take me too long. But I don't know if this is square around you guys. I hope this is... But I'm gonna be jazzing this up with some sparklers and maybe some ABs. Um, cause there's, a star there's some stars in here that I wanna accentuate. Um, and I also wanna accentuate this bit a little bit. So yeah, I'm excited to do this. It's a 50 by 30, 37 colors, which is a lot for a painting. Actually, I, okay, I'm not sure how many, paint how many colors is good for a 50 by 30. I, I've never dealt with a 50 by 30 before. All right. So my stack is getting pretty big over there. Um, this one is No Face from Etsy. Uh, how many colors is it? It doesn't say. I need to count. Oh, 31 or 32 colors. <laughs> I miscounted, but I'm not gonna count again. 35 by 35. This is a lot larger than I expected for a 35 by 35. Oh, oh. Okay, so there's some spots. I don't know if you, yeah, you guys can see that right there. Um, those are less sticky, and there's a lot of river, rivering. I think that's my fault, because um, I've been storing it for a while. Lots of confetti. I'm not looking forward to completing this one, although I probably will knowing me. Um, yeah. Uh, not much else to say about it, but I, so I recently purchased some X-Acto knives, um, so that I can get rid of bubbles, because I used, I, I used tweezers before, and that did not work out well for me, so I got some X-Acto knives, and they're up there, um, but you can't see them. So then this one is another hula can, um, I love it. It's called, I, uh, I love, it, it says I love you a latte, I'm not sure what it's called, though on the website. I got them all, so on Hula Can they have like multi-listings, so they'll list like seven or eight, or like nine dime paintings on uh, one page instead of a dime painting, instead of just one like image. Um, then you get to like pick which one you want. So I think I got all of my Hula Cans that I'm showing here from that. Oh, did I get another Hula Can? I'm trying to think. I did get another Hula Can, but I gave it to my mom, that's right. Um, this has 35 colors. It is 30 by 40. Um, it's sideways for you guys. It says, love you a latte. I am thinking about giving, or completing this and then giving it to my sister. Gonna be completely clear there. Um, the, uh, sticky things don't, or the, the covers don't line up. Uh, it's not so much that I will worry about, but... It's not, you know, it's not a good thing. And I did that rip, so it's not who it can's fault. Um, I, I'm excited to do this kit. I'm really excited to do that one because, as I said before, I like their chalkboard things, but there's a lot of confetti, which you are about to see. Uh, this one is just just uh, flat out nothing. Um, I actually have a cross-stitch pattern that I started, let me, let me see if I can get the like, brochure thing. So it's a French one, it's a citrouille, which means pumpkin, I think. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but um, there's some pumpkins. Uh, and then there's a ton of them. And I'm thinking about converting them into dam paintings. You can't see any of them. Uh, let me see. Yeah, no, I can't see anything else, but that would actually be really fun. Um, I am looking forward to doing that. These wrinkles are not me. Let me see. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with this canvas. Um, it just came a little beat up, which is fine. Um, it wasn't, it's not bad enough that I need to throw away the canvas or return it. Oh God. Um, one sec, you guys, I'm having a spillage problem over there. Okay, so I'm back, and I have figured out, <laughs> I put everything away, and I brought out my big one. Um, this is from Providential World. You can, okay, I'm not actually going to peel this back, because you can't see the image. 
Um, it's huge. It is 50 by 70. And it's this image. You've probably seen it a million times. Um, it's square. Oh, I didn't talk about my Etsy ones are square. All of my Etsy ones are square, I think. Uh, I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, yeah, they're all square. Um, you might have to go back to that, to the video that I made on the Etsy page. So I am back again. <laughs> um, you may have to go to the Etsy Diamond Painting um, video to see if it's round or square, because I forget. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Um, so this is from CES Deals. Um, this is a special drill. It's just a nice little pencil case. Um, I'm going to be doing... I really want to do this one soon. Then this is a bag from CES Deals. Special drill. Um, I have not started that one, and I will be right back again, sorry, you, uh, with my all of my whips. You can see some of them here, um, but I need to get one, and then there's two more that I have to show you pictures of. So I'll be back in one sec. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry about all the cuts, but this is my final... Uh, sorry. <laughs> These are my whips, um, which, if you're new here, that means work in progress, WIP whip. So, uh, let's start with the top. So, um, I started this one, like, two nights ago, um, and it is this really nice notebook from CES Deals. I am so happy with how this is turning out so far. Um, this is probably my favorite notebook that I've ever seen, and I'm excited to finish that. Um, but I have some other things that I'm working on, as you can see. So, now I'm just putting this away, because the flash action makes it look really, really good. But trust me, it looks good in real life. Uh, probably better in real life than it does on camera. Especially with this lighting. But, next one. Um, we have, okay. So, I don't know if you guys remember the two, uh, or the four pack of mandalas that I posted. Actually, for me it was two days ago. Or, yeah, two days ago I posted the video. These are the other two. Um, this is the four pack of mandalas. This is the one I didn't show. Um, this one I did show, and I am currently working on this bit. So this is all done right here. Um, but I only did a little bit of this, but I still consider it a whip. This is a 25, I think, well, these are both 20 by 20 in real reality. This one has 14 colors, this one has 17. I really like these mandalas. I'm pleasantly surprised, I would say. Um, then this is my, uh, so this is part of the 12 pack, I or the 4 pack, I forget. This is part of one of the big packs that uh, I showed you all the 30 by 30s of. This is a 30 by 30, it is a mountain with some cherry blossoms. I love this painting so much. I finished it a little while ago, um, or, sorry, I started a little while ago, um, and if you're wondering about this washi tape, why it's different over here, it's just because the, you can't see the legend without it. Uh, without, you can't see the legend if the tape is too thick. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place right now. Um, it's a little late. So I haven't done anything past what you see here. Um, I will try to put up an image of it if I can. I probably won't be able to find it, but this is just the top of it. So you're not missing anything in the thumbnail. Um, okay, I have a bone to pick with this one. So this is my, this is another Amazon painting. Um, it's from a company called One Hippo. All of their item things are called One Hippo. Um, 13 colors, 20 by 30. Okay, well, actually, it looks really good in the camera. Let me give you guys a close-up. The drills are really sparkly, though. So I did this all of this in one day, which was really good for me when I did complete this much. But look at the top. That's just not, that's not good at all. Luckily, this painting was like five or six dollars, but still, eh, see, it looks good from where you guys are. But I, I love the image. Uh, you can tell what the image is, but I love this image. I'm probably gonna get a better one of this um, from a different company. Uh, but that's that one. Um, and then this one. This is my current whip. Now I'm giving this to a friend, as I've mentioned. I think I mentioned this before. I don't know if the video is gone up yet but let me take off this this is what i have so far um this is three days worth of work 
I don't dem paint a lot. Um, I, I just, I don't know. Um, this is super confetti heavy, and as you can see, it looks so good. You see the chalkboard stuff? But let me bring it up for you guys, because I want to show you guys how crazy this is. You see how it's like blue and red and green? Isn't that crazy? And then it makes the, the image, by the way, this is the image. It's called Life is Sweet. Let me, or sorry, You're the Sweetest. That's the other one. Life is Sweet is the other one. You're the Sweetest. So, tw 30 colors, 30 by 40. Let me actually peel back the other tape, or the other, yeah, the other cover. Um, so, this is like a cupcake in a glass, like, I don't know. I don't know what this thing is called. It's like a cake stand, but like tiny. And it has a little lid on it. So, this is the full image. Um, why does it look like it's so big over there? Oh, you guys can see. <laughs> um, let me move this up. You can see my floor. Um, so, this is it. Uh, it's a hooey can. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> um, I have been really enjoying this one, I, honestly. Even though there's a ton of confetti. Uh, I still like it. So, yeah, those are all. That's everything. Uh, actually, no, that isn't. So, I have two other paintings. Or other whips. They're both Diamond Art Clubs. Um, or, wait, do we have a third one? I thought I had a third one. No, I don't. So, there's two Diamond Art Clubs that uh, are too big to show right here. One of them isn't even in this house. So, um, actually, I'm going to show you the other one. I'll be back in one sec. So, this is Sugar Cookies. Um, I, I uh, did this one, and or I did a review on this one, and I love it so much. There's a ton of color blocking. So... Um, you know the hua can. I just showed you the hua can. The hua can square. That was square, by the way. The, the drills are square. Um, this is around, uh, 55 by 55. Um, there's a ton of cl color blocking in this. Um, like the hua can. And the, they're both, like, the same sort of image. Um, I believe both of them are by Lily and Val. Which is an artist. That's the image. I don't know if you guys can see that. 32 colors. Um... But I am currently working on this sec- Oh my god, look how good it, it looks blurry. That's so cool. Okay. I'm working on this section right now. Um, I haven't been working on this one a ton because I've been working on my other hula can. But it will be nice to get back to this one. But, um, let me tell you guys about my last one back at the desk. Okay, guys. So, we're back at the desk and, um, my last painting- Oh, sorry. <laughs> is Venice Al Fresco. From Diamond Art Club, it is a square. It is, I want to say, fifty-two by seventy-six or something like that. It's fifty something by seventy-five or seventy-six. I'm not hundred percent sure, but it's a square, as I said. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting tired, you guys. Um, it's nighttime, so um, I'll put a picture of that one or like a video or something of that one up because that one is so beautiful. But there's so much confetti, you guys. I'm telling you, all of this confetti is making me sick. Um, I don't like confetti, so fun fact. Um, but yeah, that's everything I have for you all today. Um, I don't know why the sugar can is still here, but thank you all so so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, you're 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 a saint. Um, <laughs> thanks for blabbing with me. Um, and I will see you all next time.